Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we are talking about NBA 2K20 and a player in particular, Zion Williamson. We're here to talk about his player reveal for his overall, his prediction, and a new trailer that just dropped from 2K. I was going to upload the trailer straight to my channel, but I wanted to actually break it down before I even let you guys see it because there's a lot of things that I liked about the trailer and a lot that I did not like. So today we're here to talk about that, but you guys already know the goal, 3,000 likes. Let me go ahead and see the 3K inside the uh, like button right now. Also, shout out to everybody who has been subscribing. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do so. If you are already subscribed, make sure you guys turn on notifications. Let's hop into the video. All right, guys. So the first thing that we're going to be talking about is Zion's rating. Zion is coming in with a tough 81 overall, and this is the first time that they've actually dropped the screenshot for his player. Now, of course, when we seen the first initial next trailer, we seen the back of his jersey, which was cool, but we never got an actual visual of Zion. So this is what you guys are seeing here. I don't like the screenshot just because of the simple fact that he's not flexing. I feel like it would have been much more animated, much more lifelike if he was flexing in this image. There's actually a clip inside the trailer that you guys will be watching next that has Zion flexing. I wonder why they didn't use that clip, that image, but hey, it is what it is, man. But Zion's coming in at 81. I want to know, what do you guys think? Thumbs up if you guys agree with the overall or thumbs down if you don't agree with the overall. I've actually seen D Rose at a lower overall and you know, to be a proven NBA player but still injured makes me wonder. Let's get into the trailer. I like the hype. People think I'm the next. I just want to get out there and play ball with my teammates. We'll see if I'll prove them right. My game was inspired by Michael Jordan because I just love the way he played on offense and defense and just his assassin mentality. Watched a lot of LeBron growing up, Kobe, T-Mac. Those were like the best players and I feel like I would try to like take small parts of their game and somehow try to put it in their mind. It's crazy, man, like <laughs> nothing really can beat that. I'm in the game, like I don't have to create my player. I'm already there, so I'm excited about that. Just like it's not white, I said, just gotta get my 2K player right now. Uh, I feel like I wouldn't have made it this far if I was just a dunker. I feel like I'm an underrated passer. I'm an underrated shooter. Obviously, I can still work on both, but I feel like I just don't get enough credit for my overall game. I try to win rookie of the year, and just the me not happen, but that's what the mindset is. I feel like. If you're not even thinking you can win it, and you're already starting off wrong. Everyone's saying I'm the next LeBron or whoever, but I'm just Zion, and I'm just trying to be the next version of me. All right, guys, don't mind the screenshot of Zion looking into your eyes right now. He actually looked at me and was like, yo, iPod, did you see what I saw? So it's time for me to break down some of this actual NBA 2K20 gameplay just because of the simple fact that this is not captured on a cell phone. This is actual HD footage. You know what I'm saying? Thumbs up for that. And it's actually animations that I wanted to see in the game as well as other things that I don't want to see and I'm hoping not to see that shouldn't make it into this year's game. But just a little disclaimer. It seems that this gameplay was made out of either rookie or pro difficulty. So a lot of things that you see are over exaggerated, but there's also animations in the game that need to be addressed. So let's go ahead and break down some of this footage. All right, so in this first clip, we have Anthony Davis running after Zion on the fast break. Now we all know that Anthony Davis is a defensive player. Now also another thing, this gameplay is dialed down. So one thing that I would have loved to see is Anthony Davis actually try and get the chase down block, which he did. Another thing that I would have loved to uh, see is that, you know, Zion actually gets an alley-oop instead of just all dunks. But one thing that I can say about this clip is that I didn't see any clipping. I'm glad that I didn't see the ball go through his shoes, vice versa. That's one thing that I did love from this clip. Let's move on. 
All right, so there's a lot happening in these three clips as far as Zion driving down the paint, players boxing out and watching him dunk as the defender just runs up behind him. Another is a massive block to a floater that I actually love. I love to see when people floaters get blocked in NBA 2K. That's just me. I am a lockdown. I'm sorry. And the last clip is Zion actually crushing the defender with a posterizer. Now, this posterizer, I would have loved to see how it actually ended, whether a player fell on the ground, a foul was caught, anything like that. And, of course, the flexing is always good, 2K. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I would have loved to see a flexing image on that screenshot. But let's address the box outs. People boxed out. But it seemed like the CPU already knew that the dunk was going to be made, so they didn't run in for the rebound. All they did was just box out. And of course, like I said, the difficulty is lowered, so the defender didn't even run up. Now, as far as the block goes, the block on that shot is crazy. I ain't even going to lie, man. But some people would say with that, he did jump straight up and down to get that block. So, of course, there is no foul there. And I like the way that that looks. But moving on to that posterizer, I would have loved to see a more drawn out play and then get closer as that uh, contact dunk happened because I wanted to see how it got set up. You know what I'm saying? Just seeing somebody getting dunked on in the trailer is dope, but I would have loved to see how that play actually developed. Now, as far as the flexing goes, like I said, 2K, touche, good flex. Let's move on. All right, not too much to say about this clip besides look at the bench's reaction. I love that reaction, but I would have loved to see the crowd react as well. I mean, of course, nobody got posterized in that action, but I would have loved to see the crowd, whether, you know, wave it off or be like, ooh, or something like that. Some type of reaction from the crowd would have been nice. But of course, like I said, they're in L.A., they, they're not at home in the Pelicans arena. So, of course, the crowd wouldn't go wild for that. Let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so in these clips, they show Zion with a little bit of post game, being able to shoot from the three, and his close-up shot with his left hand. Now, in the clip with him close-up shooting, I feel like his head should have been tilted up a little bit more instead of, like, moving his head up as he shoots. But I believe that that shot was more of a foul line shot right there. So maybe that's just the way the animation goes or how he was mo-capped. So just saying, I like all the animations, especially the stiff legs. Um, I'm glad that stiff legs are still in the game because that kind of shows you when you're going to make that shot. You know what I'm saying? Me and Raunchy play a lot of twos. Um, we play with uh, sharpshooters nowadays. And whenever we see stiff legs with that landing, we kind of always know that it's going to go in, whether it's full bar, half bar, uh, you know what I mean? Green, whatever the case may be. Stiff legs always let you know when you're going to make them, especially in a wreck. But uh, let's move on to the last clip. And oh my goodness, this is the one that we need to talk about. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so when I had first seen this clip, I was like, did my man just get bump stole? And then I was like, you know what? That's technically not a bump still because it's clean. It's on the actual side where he can get that path to go ahead and tip it and run off with it. But then I was like, well, the reason that it looks like a bump still to me is because the offensive player got jostled after Zion started running for the ball. Now, I got into a few little... Uh, reply tweet twitter type of things with a couple people um crazy girl hit me up uh fair glizzy hit me up pg craig hit me up initially when i first seen it i tweeted it out as i was watching i said is that a bump still then i replied to myself saying no that's not a bump it's just a jostle animation after the initial rip so my thing is there's still bad animations in 2k which shows it here as you guys can see when zion rips the ball that's clean but after zion pursues the ball it's a jostle animation at the end and you can see smart literally falling forward because he's jostled at that point now initially when he turned his head i thought that he was going to go ahead and try to go after the ball but once i noticed that he couldn't pursue the ball after the initial rip I knew it was a jostle animation and I'm sorry 2k but these type of animations have to go if you guys can come out with a day one patch where they stop jostling people please let it happen because one thing that I noticed in 2k is when a person gets blocked 
somehow they miraculously get their own rebound. Whenever a team shoots an air ball, somehow one of their teammates is always in the perfect position for the rebound. Another thing that I notice is whenever somebody gets bump stolen or jostled from a steal animation, they never have a chance at all, no matter what, to get their own steal. Now, one thing I can tell you guys, as a lockdown, as playing as bigs, playing as guards, whatever the case may be, when you get bump stolen or somebody gets up in your pockets, 98.9% of the time, you will lose that battle when it comes to that loose ball because you're going to be in an animation that you just can't control. Whew. I hope I didn't keep you guys too long. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. More NBA 2K news videos will be dropping later today and the upcoming days and weeks up until 2K20 drops, especially the demo. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what you guys think about some of the things I said inside the comment section. I love to read comments. I love to send some of those comments to LD2K, to Ronnie2K to see what they think, see if I can get a little bit of info from them and uh man that stream with shakedown that ronnie did on caffeine tv it scared me i ain't gonna lie it did but we'll talk about that later in another video thank you guys for watching peace yeah you can't watch this whole video without subscribing